So hello and welcome back to another video guys. Now we're we're doing another Blu-ray hunting video today, so it's all gonna be a bit different. We're gonna do a bit of out and about filming and all that jazz because I know you guys like it. Um so today we're back in Hartford, you know, because my last couple Blu-ray hunting videos I'd done one in uh Birmingham and then we went to Cardiff a few weeks ago this one just back in my local however I haven't been to my local HMV or CEX in over two months so I'm actually hoping especially in CEX because as you guys know we get we get different stuff in CEX all the time um we, we're gonna get some different stuff hopefully so there should hopefully be a couple bits and bobs for me to pick up um, so I'm really excited. Today, Ryan and Luke aren't here. I'm going with my sister. My sister, I'm taking her on a driving lesson. And I thought, why not? Let's go to Hartford. This is all for our idea as well. We're going to go to Har Harlow. Sorry, not Hartford. We're going to go to Harlow. Um, we're going to take a little break there. She's going to do some shopping. I'm going to do my bit of shopping. Do some filming for you guys. Get some footage for the channel. Hopefully pick up a couple bits and bobs. And we'll come back and talk about them. And yeah, that's, that's more or less how this video is going to go. Um, so yeah, pretty exciting stuff. Shouldn't be too long a video, but, we, you know, hey, we, we'll pick up a few bits and bobs, hopefully. I, I don't really know what I'm hoping to pick up today. I really want to get hold of the Charlie Chapman box set on Blu-ray, um, but HMV price it like an extra £25 above Amazon. I think Amazon, it's um, £50, and um, HMV want like 75 quid for it. So, um, yeah, I, I, I don't think I'm going to pick it up in HMV when I can save £25 by just ordering off Amazon. And of course, I have Prime, so I can get it next day. So, but anyway, um, yeah, so we're, we're going we're gonna to see where we go from there. Also, in terms of showing you guys stuff, because, you know, I know that that's what we do here on the channel. Every time I sort of buy something, I like to show you guys, and it's good fun. We, we're going to get some Blu-rays today. I'll show you them at the end of the video. But I thought I'd show you guys this, which I made over the last couple of weeks. Um, some of you might have just seen it in the background of the video, but anyway, I'm, I'll show you now. Um, I, I I have made myself Lucille. Look at this; it's pretty cool, isn't it? Do I not look like Negan at all? Hmm? <laughs> um, so yeah, it's um, I, I I sort of just bought the baseball bat and the fake barbed wire, but that was pretty real, I think. I've put some paint on it to try and give it a, few, a bit more texture. Um. Yeah, so I bought the baseball bat, painted it, stuck the barbed wire on, gave the barbed wire a lick of paint. I was thinking about putting some fake blood on it, but I'm a bit worried to ruin it now because I'm actually really happy with this. Um, I did look at getting the replica ones on eBay, Amazon, um, Forbidden Planet, have some. Um, but just because they're plastic and you can sort of tell they're plastic, I was like, oh, I don't want that. And a real wooden... Baseball bat replica was about £100, so I just thought, screw it, I'm going to make my own. This cost me about £20 to make. Uh, I think it's so much better than <laughs> um, a lot of the ones you can get online, personally. I'm not trying to big myself up here, because I usually suck at things like this, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, but anyway, we're going we're to get on the road now. We're going go, to go do some Blu-ray hunting. Um, so, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the car or when I'm there or whenever I decide to pick up the camera to do some filming again. So I'll see you soon. Hair is an absolute mess. Actually, I know we normally go on HMV first, but CEX actually um, a 
was up before HMV on our walk, so uh, we'll probably go there first and then HMV, so uh, we'll see you at one of those. Right, so then here we go into CEX first, the shop of sex. Um, I haven't been in here in ages, so they the stock was completely different. Here's a razor head for only £12, David Lynch there. Um, as you can see, held on to that one. Spoiler for what I picked up. We got some Godzilla vs Kong there, very well priced. The Hunger Games 4K box, I wouldn't mind picking that up, but not £40. A lot of Harry Potter stuff. Here's Dark Materials down the bottom, really, really fantastic show. And what else we got? We got some Iron Man, some Inside Out, The Hangover. Um, there's individual Hunger Games there, only £4. I didn't know they bothered releasing them individually, to be honest. And then over here we have, of course, we got some Justice League stuff. We got Kong, Skull Island, Band of Brothers. Uh, I think this is a DVD set. I do have the Blu-ray version of this, and it's a really nice box set, to be fair. Predator. Um, or The Predator, the only Predator film I don't own because I thought it was crap, but I will pick it up very cheap if I can find it. Ray on the Last Dragon there, pretty new release. Some Sherlock down the bottom. And here we have The Witches, really nice set there, £25. I was tempted on this to be fair, it looks like a really nice box set. Wonder Woman 1984, I mean, terrible movie, but hey, it sits there. Uh, Toy Story Collection, and we've got a Superman box out the top there, here's some Star Wars, of course we all love Star Wars, um, and yeah, so they, they had a pretty good selection um, in CEX, i got to say, it was nice to go in there and have some fresh stock, and I think wait in a good period of time, is it really helps. Um, yeah, and they, they, they had some um, premiums in there as well, and some criteria, so there was a really good range in there, I thought, which was nice. Got the new Conjuring film, The Devil Made Me Do It. Um, Tony Bennett and Lady Gaga, I'm, I actually really like Tony Bennett, and um, I quite like Lady Gaga when she does more laid-back stuff, not the modern pops music she seems to do, and her with Tony Bennett's really good, so I was tempted to pick that Blu-ray out. Uh, pretty cool box set there, nice lenticular, although I'm not a big fan of lenticular covers because of how easy they scratch up over time. Um, Dark Knight set there, 4K, £32, pretty good deal, I'd say for three very solid films in 4K. And then over here we got some other bits, nice Laurel and Hardy blue right at the top which I was tempted on so I do like a bit of Laurel and Hardy. Aladdin 4K, £8, if this slip wasn't battered I would have picked that up. But the slip was the camera didn't really pick it up too bad, but it was pretty butchered. The Boys season two, Black Widow, Breaking Bad box set, some really really great movies there, some great stuff. But then Ted Face music, very cheap already. Sulking because I'm in a clothes shop and not a Blu-ray shop. So, HMV, here we go. Um, shop window was really cool because they had a nice war machine mask there for, it was £90, and of course, um, Thor's axe there for 150 a bit pricey, but um, hey, it, it can't help it, I still want it. Really love this MODOK model, I really love that. I've, I've been very tempted to pick it up every time I go in there. A lot of Marvel figures there, we've got some Shang-Chi, Harry Potter there as well, a lot of Harry Potter models. Um, and just lots of other strange things. Got a nice little Harley Quinn section t-shirts, which I thought was very odd that they dedicated a whole little bit there to Harley Quinn, but I suppose the Suicide Squad is still very fresh. Loads of pops. There's a really cool Doctor Fate one here, which I I was a bit tempted to pick it up, actually. I like the Doctor Fate one. Very cool. Some Freddy Krueger. The Dark Side one was very cool as well, i got to say. Very cool. And then, of course, we have this little Star Wars section, which was cool. You got a, you got a Grogu there. Um, Babu Frick pop vinyl. And some cereal. I actually quite like the Babu Frick one. It's just I don't really care about that character, and he's in the Star Wars film I don't like, so... It's a trap! It's Admiral Agbar. And then here we are over at the Arrow section. I really had a good look through them, but they were just, a, there's no deals on, so they were a bit pricey at the minute. But there's some great Arrow titles in there. 
still, you got the house films there. I really enjoyed three of them. The full form's a bit meh. Got the ring box set, pitch black. Lots of other cool titles. There's the Battle Royale box set, which I'm still absolutely in love with. I love that movie. Uh, the premiums got a lot of new premiums um, now, which which have come out since I've been collecting. So again, when there's a deal on the premiums, I do want to go back and pick up a few more of those. Got the 88 films. Here's the Criterions. But again, no deals on with the Criterions. So. There were still a couple of good deals there, and you've got the 101 films at the bottom there as well. See Marriage Story there, great film, The Irishman. And then, yeah, there we go, this is the Battle Royale box set again. If you don't own that, people, pick it up, it's a brilliant set. Here's the Bonds, all £10 at the minute on 4K, very, very good deal. Uh, personally, I'm not going to pick, I didn't want to pick them up. I was tempted on Casino Royale though, purely because I absolutely love Casino Royale. But yeah, no, I didn't. I didn't pick them up in the end. Um, and then here is Aladdin, 4K. So I didn't want to pick this film up in 4K. 30 pounds in HMV though. What a rip off. I mean, that, that seems ridiculous. Um, and then there is the Conjuring Devil Made Me Do It Again. Still pretty fresh release. I uh, Game of Thrones. Um, yeah, I'm waiting for one of those HMV horror slips for the Conjuring Three to go with my other two. Quiet Place Part 2 down the bottom there, Luca, really love Luca, what a, what a great Pixar movie. There's a placeholder for The Suicide Squad, which I can't wait to own. Star Trek, full movie, 4K collection, got some Space Jam at the top there, Schindler's List, Rocket Man. Lots and lots of good stuff, basically. Uh, regular Blu-ray section, we've got some Tenet, loads of Star Trek there. Psycho, just watched that for the first time recently and loved it. Uh, Sound of Metal, some Star Wars, love those slips. Uh, Les Miserables, uh, Lady Bird, some really good stuff here. El Camino, really enjoyed that. Dragged Across Concrete, The Father, a film I need to watch. Got Black Clansman, Bill and Ted again. And then over here we got some superhero stuff. We got loads of comics, if you like that sort of stuff. And here you've got new season of Batwoman, which is out. You know, I'm, I'm not into that. Won't be watching that, but that's there. Supergirl. Just loads of like your DC shows and some Marvel movies as well. Good fun. Got, got the Ant-Mans there. We all, we all like a bit of Ant-Man, don't we? Westworld, what an incredible show. Absolutely breathtaking. The Pacific. Some pops there. I was looking for a King Shark, but it just seems like everyone's got the same idea as me and everyone wants to buy a King Shark. Doctor Who, you've got the classic seasons there. Some more Game of Thrones. Um, some very shaky camera from me because I'm professional at this now. I'm, I'm you know. Um, <laughs> yeah, just lots of cool shows here. The Crown. Still need to watch that. Very determined to do it. The Walking Dead. Um, and the new season of that is out, season 10, the Blu-ray, got your modern Doctor Who there. Um, but I'm waiting for a complete box set on The Walking Dead now, as it is ending next year, with its 11th season. And then here we are, the horror section. You've got Brightbird, there's the Conjuring again. Uh, what else we got facing out? The Halloween, the 2018 film, £5. Pretty good for that film, still pretty fresh. Get Out, really great movie there. The new Pet Cemetery. wasn't a big fan on that. Quiet Place Part 2 again. Love that movie. And we've got some anime here. And going over here, you got some more classics. There's the original Halloween. Great slip. Uh, the Exorcist. And some kiddie movies. But yeah, so it's still pretty good selection. Um, HMV. And I love this baby group. Look how adorable he is. Um, so I've actually had a very, very successful trip, like really, really successful. I got some absolute bargains. We'll look at them when we get home. Emma, you bought nothing. No. What was the point of you even coming <laughs> out? Quite frankly. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll show you guys what I got when we get home. I mean, you can already see them there, the spines, but we'll take a closer look 
Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll see you there. <laughs> so we are back. That's right. A very, very successful day. I've got to say, some of you have probably already seen the titles from when I was holding them up by the spines. And um, I also put a picture in my Facebook group, the Movie Bug Facebook group. If you're not part of that, link in the description, by the way. Um, so, yeah, I, I, some people have seen the deal I got. I'm I'm sort of in shock, to be honest, with the deal I got. It's 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 pretty incredible. Probably, I, I'm, I'm almost tempted to say the best deal I might have ever got on a Blu-ray. This is really, really good stuff. So, <coughs> apologies, still got my cold. Somehow. Um, we're good. I'll show you the CEX stuff first and then the HMV thing because that's the order that they were picked up in. So CEX first off. First thing I picked up or first thing that caught my eye with the spine was David Lynch's Razorhead. Um, this is a film I'm not sure I'm going to like this much. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm still very new to David Lynch. Um, I'm not sure he's going to be my... like. like he's, I'm not sure he's the director for me. But I'm really excited to check out some more of his films. Um, I do like the look of this film. £12. And it's in pretty good condition as well, as you can see. A little bit, a little bit there on the spine, but it's okay. Considering if I was to buy this on um, Amazon or HMV, it's going to be about a £25 purchase. Uh, for £12, I'm willing to take a little little, little scuff up there. Um, so yeah, and I've left the stickers on here just to prove to you guys the prices. Um, because I wouldn't have guessed this would be £12. Um, but anyway, so here it is, the Criterion. And yeah, if you're a Criterion fan, by the way, you're going to like this because everything I picked up today was Criterion. I looked at the arrows. There's a few arrows I really wanted to pick up, but I just can't justify spending like £15 on an arrow film, like when there's like the 215 deals that pop up every now and then. So I'd just rather wait for that. So there is, there's that side. You've got, got your disc. Hang on. Come on, it's a bit tight. Some background artwork there, really nice. Criterion disc. <clears throat> and of course, <clears throat> nice big book, really nice. So yeah, that's the great thing about Criterions. If you love the movie, you know, you've got so much um, other material there to really dive in and just, just, just dissect the movie almost, which I love. Um, and when I absolutely love a movie, I think it's, Really, really fantastic to do that. Um, but yeah, so Razorhead. Now, this is the one that really, really shocks me. Because this has only been out for like two, three weeks, I think. More David Lynch. More David Lynch. Um, pretty sure it's David Lynch, anyway. Yeah, it is. It is. Why am I questioning myself? This is David Lynch. Yeah, it is. Um, <laughs> um, Twin Peaks... This is the Blu-ray as well. This isn't DVD. £10. £25 everywhere else. I saw it in HMV afterwards. They wanted £25. Looked it up on Amazon. £25. It's a brand new... I'm shocked. I was shocked at this price. What I, what I think happened here is... I went on the CEX website to see if maybe they just done this wrong. And this wasn't currently coming up on the CEX website. But the TV show was. So I'm thinking... Did they just price this up as the TV show? I don't know. Um, but £10 it seems way too cheap for me. Um, but yeah, I couldn't pass it up. I had to grab it. Um, I do want to watch this. Um, I've got to give a little shout out to Film Geek 13 um, Archie. You know, he's sort of given me a recommendation like to watch season one and two, then the movie, and then season three. I'm going to do that. I'm going to fully get invested in the Tweaks, Twin Peaks world because I know nothing about it. Um, so I'm going to do exactly as he's told me, because he is the master of this. Um, but yeah, £10. Look at that price again. Look at it. Look. God, I just, it, it's, it's baffling to me. But anyway, <clears throat> I actually haven't looked at any of these yet. So this is all pretty exciting as well. Um, so again, sort of the same layout as a razor head, which is quite nice. Having the, uh, the, the Lynch stuff match. Nice big book. Lots of cool photos. Oh, look at that. There's a... Nice horsey. Um, and of course, pop the disc out. Nice artwork as well. Here's your disc. So yeah, lots of very, very cool stuff in there. Um, so yeah, re it's probably going to take me a while to get around to this one because I've got two seasons of a show to watch first. But 
I will be getting there. So yeah, Twin Peaks. Now, for HMV. Really wasn't going to buy anything in there, to be honest. I just sort of just went in there to film. Because, you know, uh, HMV, there's like no deals going on at the minute. With the premiums, with the arrows. Um, because, I, again, there were there, there are some premiums that I really want to pick up as well at the minute. But I'm just going to wait for the deals. Because you save so much money. Um... And I, I was like, right, well, I'm not going to buy anything else. I'll just, I'll just do a bit of filming, have a wonder. But then this caught my eye. And I've had about four or five people come raving to me um, in the recent weeks about this movie, saying how much, how brilliant they think it is. And I've seen one other film from this guy, and I absolutely loved it. So this was pricey, still new, a new release. And obviously, HMV, brand new seal. <coughs> so... <coughs> I, I, you know, I paid the full whack for this one, basically. But, you know, I think all those, those ones are so cheap. I'm, I'll give it a go. Picked up Mirror um, by um, Adria Travoski. I always pronounce his name wrong. Now, I've seen Stalker from him, which I really enjoyed. And I've heard some people say this is actually... I've heard a couple of people say they think they think it's better than Stalker. So, I don't know. But I, I'm very much looking forward to giving this a watch. Because I really enjoyed Stalker. Um, hang on. There we go. Um, let's get in here and have a look. So yeah, I did pay the full full whack for this one. Um, very expensive film, so I hope I like it. <laughs> right, here we go. Here we go. Come on, cellophane. It's off. I really like this cover. I really love that. Um, and it's a bit thicker than the other ones, which is cool. Ooh. Ooh, big book. This sort of reminds me of the the Roma Criterion with the big fat old book. Apologies, phone going off in the background. Um, obviously, a lot of mirror imagery, of course. I'm not going to take the discs out for this one because there's two, but you can get an idea there. Really nice, really nice. As I say, nice big boy book. Look at that, loads of stuff. So. I'm I'm actually quite excited to watch this one. This will probably be the first one I watch out of the stuff I bought today. Uh, 1975, so I think it was before, st uh, after Stalker. Hang on, where is Stalker? Oh, 79, okay, that no, was wrong. Stalker actually came out after this one. So, yeah, but no, I, I mean, I love this director, um, or I love the other film I've seen from him, so I'm really excited to watch this. So, yeah, there we go. That's, that's my pickups for today. <laughs> I think I've done really, really well. I mean, look, all criterions, which is pretty cool as well. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and go back to my HMV when an arrow or a premium deal's back on because my last two Blu-ray Hunter videos, it seems I've just bought, like, mostly criterions. Today, I have bought just criterions. Um, so, yeah, but, yeah, really, really happy to own these. Really excited to watch them as well. But, yeah. Anyway, there we go. That'll be it for this video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it as always. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, leave a message, and as always, I will see you next time for another video. Bye-bye.